Why is the climate in the USA so much colder than in Europe? Especially considering that the continental part of the US lies much farther south and closer to the equator, so it seems like it should be warmer, right? But it's actually the opposite. Look, New York City often gets snowfall and frost down to minus 10 in winter, while at the same latitude, the capital of Spain, Madrid, rarely sees snow, and the average winter temperature stays above zero. And Paris is located much farther north than Toronto, but in Canada, winter lasts for months longer and is much harsher. The reason lies in the Gulf Stream, a powerful warm ocean current that starts in the Caribbean Sea, passes through the Gulf of Mexico, where the water heats up to 28 degrees, then flows along the eastern coast of the United States and rushes northeast across the Atlantic, carrying vast amounts of warm water all the way to Europe. There, it warms the air, and the westerly winds spread that heat across Europe, making the climate much milder. That's why even Norway, which is at the same latitude as Alaska, has a mild winter, and its coastline remains ice-free. But in the U.S., it's the opposite. Along the western coast runs the cold California current, which brings cool temperatures to the western states even in summer. Meanwhile, far to the east, over Siberia, huge masses of cold air build up in winter, feeding the Arctic air and intensifying the polar chill. Then this cold air moves south toward Canada and sweeps down into the central and eastern states, bringing severe cold, blizzards, and sudden temperature drops. 